Hello everyone, welcome to PC Tech Help. This is Cyber Sorcerer, uh, and I'm going to do a quick video on uh, connecting to Justin.tv on IRC using Merck. Um, if you're using another uh, IRC program like XChat or something like that, like that, it operates the same thing, just the settings would be different. But um, I haven't been, I've been signed up on Justin TV for a while. I just haven't got around to broadcasting it. I just wanted to get get my YouTube uh, channel going first with the videos and all that stuff, and then we'll get into uh, helping people more on the in the chat and the IRC and stuff like that. I do have an IRC channel on a regular IRC server. You can see my info window at the bottom left, and uh, this here is just for Justin TV when I'm broadcasting live and stuff like that. Uh, I I was wondering how to use IRC myself because I use IRC more than uh, the chat with uh, Justin TV or uh, UStream or whatever whatever you're using. Um, even on UStream, I preferred uh, going into IRC on, over there. And so a lot of people were wondering and having troubles uh, connecting to Justin TV. And so far, this is how I figured out how to do it. I might have a part two of this when I learn more about it. I hear that there's also a a Justin TV uh, wait list that uh, I haven't researched yet. I was just told about that today from another uh, person in the chat room. So I'll check into that and find out what's all involved into that. But anyway, this is how I uh, uh, found out how to do it so far using this room, using this technique. First thing you need to do is go to the room that you want to uh, join. And a lot of I know a lot of people have tried using uh, in their server. On a Merck, they've been typing IRC uh, dot Justin dot TV with their info and stuff, and that's not working. And uh, there's a, I guess there's a particular reason why they want you to connect uh, to the server to the specific chat room that you that you want into. Oh, we got music. We got to stop there. Let me stop that music there. So. What you need to do to do that, you need to first go to the particular uh, room that you want to jo join on IRC, and you'll need the IP address of that room. So once you get in the room, and once you're once you're logged in, and you get into the chat here, let me zoom in so y'all can see, and I move over here. First thing you need to do is type forward slash server, and then you're going to hit enter. Now the good a good thing to have Notepad open or I have uh, Merck open with the uh, server window like I have. Let me show you here. Go do it for you. you. Need to open up your server select window. I've already got a uh, Justin group in there uh, made up. You can follow the the chat the Merck introductory videos to learn how to do that. But see, I already have Justin in here, and you need to click on your edit. And see this here is the IP address for PC Caravan 1 chat room. You need to have your password in there along with uh, your nickname that you use on Justin TV because this will be this will be the first thing checked. So if you don't have this in there, and see like like I like said right here passwords are usually needed on special types of servers. Well consider Justin a special type of server. They require you to have a password before they even connect you. So put your password in there, the IP address of your room, and that's all you need to do. Now we'll go back out here. Let's go back over. See how we get that IP address. Like I said, you put in a server right there. Let me zoom back in. Put it in your server and then hit enter. And then up here, you'll see you are connected to 199.9.252.165. And then it slowly goes away. That's why you need to have Notepad open or something open because that's only going to be up there for probably five seconds, and then it's going to go away. You can type server back in here again, and it'll show you up there again. Let's see if I type server in there again and hit enter. See, it still shows me the same thing up there. So if you don't get it all, uh, you can get it in a second try. But once you have all of that in here, let me zoom back in. Once you have all that in here, you just click your connect to server right here, and zoom back out. Take a few minutes to connect. My capturing software is also slowing it down, so 
CPUs running at 100% right now, running uh, everything that I got running. And there you are. You're connected. Now, once you once you do connect, you will have to join. So I just type I just type forward slash J, PC, Careman one, and hit enter, and that'll pop you into the channel. And there we are chatting. For some reason, it kicks me out of the channel when I'm running my uh, capturing software. I haven't figured out that exactly, but if I don't have my capturing software running, then I can stay in the channel and talk in there. But you can see it, it'll open up the channel and you'll also get the J JTV uh, message window here. And we'll zoom in. And that just shows the message of the channel. Like on PC Cabinet 1, it just shows welcome to our free computer help room and respect the mods and everything and, you know, don't act crazy or dumb. Same, Basically the same rules that are on any kind of channel you go into. Mostly uh, the moderators and stuff will kick you out if you start causing trouble. So that's pretty much it. Pretty much your basics uh, of doing that. We can type list. See, we can see all the rooms in here that are listed. Uh, right now there's 179 rooms. Starting with South Park 012. It's got 277 people in it. And uh, some of these I recognize. Some of them I don't. But anyway, you can do a list there. Now those, see, if you want to go to a room, you're going to need the IP of address, the IP address of that. But once you're in Merck here, once you're logged on with Merck, you can get an IP address of a particular room just by typing in its, j joining its name. So we can, in here, let me type in, let me go a little bit further there. And we'll lock it in on that. So I can type join and... Uh, another room, like my room, I can type, if I can spell, Cyber Sorcerer, join Cyber Sorcerer, and you see it does redirect, Cyber Sorcerer is at 199.9.249.36. So I just use that IP address and put it up into the top there, like I did my server window up here in the top. I have to put in that address. Well, first disconnect, put in that address, and reconnect again to that chat room. But, and if, if there's a room, you know, I'll get, probably if there's, a, if there's two or more rooms on the same server, then you won't have to do this. You can probably just join, you know, whatever rooms are on that server. And I don't know how exactly they allot their uh, servers or how many rooms are on each server, but it'll always be 199.9. And then some, some of the other two numbers are usually changed different. Uh, 249, I've seen 249 and 259 and 252 and, and stuff like that. So anyway, if you're chat, if you're connecting to uh, Merck or using Merck to connect to Justin TV, that's pretty much uh, basically how you do it. If you need any questions or anything, just join PC Careman one at Justin TV and uh, ask questions in there. There's the help channel is weekdays Monday through Friday, um, usually one to two or one to three depending on you know how busy it is and if people are having a good time uh, you know we'll stay connected longer it all depends on how's it going so uh, biggest thing is participate we're there to help everybody out I don't uh, uh, redirect I don't re uh, direct basic computer help or computer knowledge questions over to my YouTube channel or my uh, Justin TV channel or my I my other IRC channel my channels uh, Justin TV and on YouTube here are more for intermediate and advanced users because I'm teaching reverse engineering and programming and stuff like that. So it's a little bit uh, more complicated than your basic level. If you're just learning computers and you want to know basic questions about your firewall and settings and Windows settings and stuff like that, then uh, jump over to PC Careman 1 and uh, we can be glad to help you out over there. So have a good holiday, everybody, and I'll probably be getting hot and heavy with the videos and everything after the holidays, which will uh, be 2010, probably somewhere around January 5th or so. I'll start putting up more programming videos and stuff. So I hope you enjoyed the video, and let me know how it, for, how it went for you. Thank you.